So Wednesday, already looking at free agents and one who's already been at the club in the uh, end of last season. Hello and welcome to this video. If you could like, sh share and subscribe to the channel, I would much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that location bell so you know when video go live. So we're looking to get some pre-season uh, done and dusted, but first of former we need players and we are looking at free agents and loans and there's one that we are definitely looking at and I think this is one some people actually spoke about possibly us looking at in Avia Ajara I think that's how you say it uh the 26 year old has been without a club since the 1st of January after leaving Reading um he did yeah he's a left side of midfielder can play central or attacking mid and he he did okay uh he had 135 games in championship 10 goals 13 assists in championship um where is his league one stats kind of thing but he did he did okay and i think it was those things he was one of those ones where i think what was going on with reading they needed him to have a club basically um and with with the whole situation with wages and stuff they had to let certain players go and he was one of them that they let go now he has already been at uh when the ground he's already trained with the club toward back in the last season with a view for a possible signing this season and it'll be interesting to see if that he revisited again now like i said he's a tricky attacking midfielder he's been out of contract due to the whole situation that happened at reading uh the decision was due to injury and fitness problems limited 13 accent action and desire from the club to reduce the expenditure now here's the thing People are going to read that thing with uh, fitness problems and uh, injury. But what they had is they weren't being able to use the resources that they had available to do treatment and stuff. Uh, he has had a trial at Plymouth since leaving Reading as well. So if we want him, we might have to be quick. Now, he's a former England Youth International uh he was at Arsenal, then he went to Liverpool, Klopp gave him his debut versus Newcastle, and it'll be interesting to see what we do here. He signed for Reading in 2020, and it kind of those free agency where you can get something out of them and hopefully do okay. Now, I know people are going to be like, injury record doesn't sound brilliant, and we have to be careful of that, and you're right, we do. We can't keep signing players who we get in and then suddenly there's a big injury to them and then we lose them. Uh, the injuries he's had are all muscle injury, muscle injury, groin injury, groin injury. So it's common footballing injuries. So it's nothing like really bad. It's not like a broken tibia or something like that. It's not something that is going to be a problem. Now, we do have our fair share of injuries when it comes to muscle injuries. But if we can get on top of that and you get a good pre-season, that's something where you can change it. You can They can link up with our bot science lot, the people who do all our lot, and try and see if there's a different way of getting him to get more minutes for us, in a sense. Like the fact that he's already trained here, is an advantage because we've already shown him what we're about or what we could do. So that that probably means he has um, more than likely had the situation that he's already met Danny. Apologies there, my F and D playing up. Um, yeah, so. The fact that he's already met Danny and he's already met the coaching staff and met some of the players, that helps. He not, wouldn't be coming into a completely new environment. He's already met people 
who are in and around the club and who need to be uh, the one to talk to him and convince him to de- come and stay with us and play game for us. 26 years old, though, is a good age. Uh, so that's also good. And we need some more like attacking players in that sense. And again, this was someone I'm pretty sure um, a lot of Wednesday fans were looking in January going, oh, he's a free agent, let's get him. Um, for some reason, we didn't. he didn't get him. We went for Fabeda instead. Uh, similar situation as that one, but it it doesn't help when you're picking up players who have got little injury. But if you can get past that, you can pick up fantastic players who might be injury for other clubs, but are brilliant for your club. Granted, that doesn't sound like the Wednesday way. I know that sounds very un ish uh, not our usual brand of, hey, we're picking up a player, let's hope he's good. And then we get him. And then there's an injury also too. So let's see what happened with this. I hope we can get something done and we maybe go look at this. I think it's a smart player to get in. Um, I remember him when he was in the championship. He looked very good. He could always beat a man. He was a very skillful player getting forward as well. And we will see whereabouts we are with it because free agency is where you want to hit first. You want to get all your free agent targets in first because you're going to have to fight off more competition from clubs. You need to get them signed up first uh, in terms of the transfers. I know the first thing we need to do is get the contract sorted. I think we'll hear more of that this week as well um, because a lot of players will start coming back. And you got to think, Jude is when we get back into the meat of things, i.e. pre-seasons and stuff, and we start getting player back in the door, start getting ready for Danny Rule pre-season. Granted, we haven't had any news about where the pre-season is going to be yet. I think that's something that will probably come out this week as well uh, with everything else that's going on. So I'm quite intrigued to see where this goes, and hopefully this is someone we can go get in, see what, what he's like, maybe give him another, like, spell of seeing how he is and what his mindset is. Uh, I believe he's originally from London, but he'd been at Liverpool, he'd been um, at Arsenal, and he'd been at Reading as his last club. So we'll see where what happens here, because I think if you get the right player in and you can get them fit, and it's very similar to the situation with Pervader, I think you can do really well. Generally, I do. I think you can do really well if you can get them fit. And free agency, all you're asking is wages. And maybe the clause in there, you say, if your fitness is this and you play this many games, there might be an added bonus. So who knows? So anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, this is Avier Ajaya. I think that's how you say it. So we'll see.